A Napa guy knows not to judge a man by his car's multicolor paint job or absence of modern gadgetry. Who cares if it's technically old enough to vote and the windows are powered by the strength of your left arm? Your monthly payment is zero, and it'll stay that way. Because with over 400,000 parts and a little Napa know-how, you can keep anything on the road. She may not be pretty, but she's all yours. That's Napa know-how. Yeah. Father, I need you like I need H2O. Uh-huh. Now, nah, matter of fact, I take that back, cause Lord, I need you more. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing will ever compare to your love. Nothing will even come close. Therefore, out of everything that I love, I love you the most. Why? Cause I need your spirit. I can't afford to lose it. Every time I try to live without you, can't run it back looking stupid. So now, I die every day. No pride in a way. Uh-huh. And I say on my face, uh-huh. only to you I pray. Jesus, pick up my broken pieces. Make me whole. Oh. All up in my ear, they just wanna take my soul Cause I'm still just a wicked sinner Even at my best So leave me not into temptation I don't trust this flesh Let your fire fall, let your wind blow Saturate this place like no one's rock Until it overflow Manifest your power, Manifest your power. Like never before, we need you in this hour Like never before Okay, well, maybe a little bit, but I'd rather be hated for what I am than accept it as a hypocrite. See, I'm no theologian, sitting in churches, just going through motions. Going through motions. Not making a difference, but making a living, the money that's given. That's not cool, but everybody chilling. We all need to get back to repenting. Uh-huh. You ever seen the ever saw the first 48 these chairs ain't getting it killing. For real, I know this is Obama's nation, but he can help our abomination. They need to know who to put their faith in, and that should go to the one who makes it. So let your fire fall, let your wind blow, saturate this place like no one's rock until it overflows. I'm 
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is 9.30, 9.33 to be exact. Early Wednesday morning. It's not that early. 9 o'clock is almost halfway there. But now nah, <laughs> it's uh, raining outside, so I do want to let y'all know, be careful out there. I know a lot of y'all have been taking your kids back and forth to school and dropping them off, things of that nature. The roads are slick, so make sure you are a defensive driver because there are other drivers out there that really Hey, honestly, they don't know what they're doing. So I want you to be safe out there. Hey, have a wonderful day. Get out there. Put a smile on your face. Be a blessing to someone. And just keep it going, man. Don't even worry about it. Um, Yes, this is the Pulse of the Northern Neck radio show, and I'm so excited. I say this every day. I am, though. I'm excited every day that I get a chance to wake up and do something that I really love to do. You know, and um, I I had a long time to be able to think last night. I have this dollar drive going on right now. If anybody you know about it, if you've seen it on Facebook, you've seen it, you've seen the flyer, it's a dollar drive. So as little as a dollar or whatever your heart is led to donate to the cause, to the ministry, we definitely would accept it. We definitely would appreciate it, you know, over abundantly appreciate it. But uh, you know what? I had to think about it. Even if no one donates anything, I'm going to keep moving, keep grinding, keep pushing, no matter how I feel about it or whatever. I may make some changes. I may change some things up, switch some things up, cut some things out. But, hey, I'm going to keep pushing forward and I'm going to keep going because I know why I'm doing this. And I know, I know, I know, I know why I'm doing this, like I said. But, um, hey. I'm not going to allow anybody else out there, you know, feel negative about me when a lot of times I feel that way about myself. So just going to put it out there and be truthful about it. A lot of people don't know that around here about me, but I'm just going to be truthful. Hey, whatever you say about me, nine times out of ten, I've said it ten times worse about myself. So I beat myself up all the time. I want to perfect. I want to get better. I want to, you know, do things in a in a certain way. But sometimes you just have to gradually work yourself into it. And that goes into this. Uh, a couple of days ago, it, it's prom season. And a couple of days ago, I was looking on Facebook and everything. And this isn't from this area, thank God, which I'm, I'm not aware of. But um, there was a young lady that posted a picture of herself and her dress and everything, and she was going to prom. And um, to me, she looked very nice. I mean, you know, the the dress, everything, her hair was nice. You know, she was confident, was confident about herself to do it. So definitely, you know, kudos to her, shout out to her and her family. And um, it, it was just so sad, man, or how mean people can be. When they sit there and post, hateful things i know i mean you could there's somebody out there right there and talking about what about freedom of speech, what about i could say what i want to say you know what you're absolutely right you could say what you want to say but when it comes to the expense of hurting somebody's feelings don't you think you need to back it up a little bit and just know what you're saying especially a child come on now this is a child some people just have no type of control to themselves to just say, you know what, I'm going to keep it to myself. And if I can't take it back to the old school, like my mom used to tell me, and I'm pretty sure a lot of mothers and parents used to tell their kids out there, the ones that are listening, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And that was one of those points. If you couldn't say anything nice, why try to bash this child on social media? That is so, so ridiculous, man. I mean, talking about, oh, she shouldn't have never wore that. She just shouldn't have never win. I mean, things and that. That's her right. She's a senior. She wants to experience the senior life like any other child in high school. She wants to experience it, too. So why, why wouldn't she be able to go? But well, why wouldn't she want to go? What if your child turned around and said, oh, well, I want to go. I don't think I'm I'm pretty enough for anything to go. I mean, 
you know, that's, that's ridiculous. That's what's wrong with America. Everybody always screams, oh, USA, USA, when we're bombing another country or something of that nature. But guess what, USA? We can't even get together as one on our own soil and support one another and lift one another up unless we're killing somebody else. Other than that, we're at each other's throats. So I don't want to get on my soapbox this morning, but, hey, I'm there, and somebody needed to hear it, and, hey, I got it out there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it moving, and I'm going to get into some music. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Not me singing, but I'm going to get into some music. Hey, I like this song right here. The name of this song is called Amazing. It's by a group named Free. So uh, let's check it out. This is the Pulse of the Northern Neck Radio Show. Thank you very much for your support. Love you all. Driving slow on Sunday morning, no, I think I'll take it fast. But seeing your love got my foot accelerating on the gas. They say nothing lasts forever, a thing of the past. Like a black and white cast, and we feel time is plastic. Picture perfect, call it plasma, take my breath away. Asthma got me thanking God for you. But what more could I ask for? Addicted to the smooth, melodic tone of your conversation. Love got me crazy. I call it so amazing. Like I said, the name of that song was called Amazing, and the name of the artist was Free, and it was actually headed by uh, DJ Miss Eclectic. Had her on the show a couple of months ago, so remember, y'all, y'all can always go back into the archives if you were busy or anything, and you didn't have time to listen to the show live. I understand. I totally understand. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt my feelings when you don't listen. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a moment there. But uh, 
Man, all right, all right, all right. What I'm going to do is, uh, hey, like always, the phone lines are always open, 347-857-1395. Feel free to give me a call, although the chat line is open. If, you, if you're if you online, um, I believe my chat line is open. If it's not open on Blog Talk Radio, it's definitely open on Facebook. So make sure you uh, hit me up on the chat line and support. Just uh, let me know what you're doing right now. Say, hey, I'm up getting ready. I'm getting ready to leave out the house. I'm about to drink my coffee. What are you doing, Kilmarnock, and the rest of the world? What are y'all doing out there? Just let me know. Hit me up on the line, 347-857-1395. Um, hmm. In today's news, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch something up a little bit. I'm going to call my job and see if we can catch somebody off guard this morning. This is going to be fun. Y'all y'all need to listen in and wait on this one. Let's see here. Hopefully somebody doesn't get upset with me. But, uh, hey, we're going to see if they're busy this morning. And if not, then we're going to have a little conversation, aren't we? Three, four, four, three, five, two, three. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. It's dialing. Let's see if somebody answers. Northern Neck, Family YMCA, this is Kendra speaking. Yes, Kendra, how are you doing? You're live on the post of the Northern Neck radio show. This is Orlando. How are you doing? Hey, Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? Say hello to everybody out there. Hello. <laughs> well, I just wanted to catch you, see what y'all were up to this morning. Y'all busy at the Y this morning? Had a lot of people coming in? Yeah, it's pretty busy, even though the weather's kind of bad. But no, it's, there's a lot of people coming in today. All right. What class do you have going on right now so that people out there would know if they want to come work out? Um, on the ball is going on All right, right now. All right, fantastic. And how long you been working at the Y, Kendra? Um, since the end of February. All right, fantastic. Well, I'm gonna let you go. I know y'all busy there. Tell everybody out there what's up, and you are live on the air, so tell everybody bye. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 that was Kendra from the YMCA live on air. I tell you, man, we're going to have some fun with this show, man. You never know who I'm going to call. You never know. You never know. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into some more music here and see what's going on with the rest of the world with the music thing going on. Oh, just to let you know. The first song that I played, the intro song that came on was by my man Alicia Way the Third. It was called Spirit Breakout. I mean, that song, man. Whoo. He has for some reason that song right there really, really, really does something. Um, does something for me. So hey, uh, I'm sorry if I play it a lot or if you heard it a lot, but I like the song. I can't help it. This is another song here by uh, Hedges and Highways. I hope y'all like it. It has a nice little up-tempo feel to it. And remember, y'all, any local artists, you know any local artists out there, have them send me their music so I can play some local artists. I'm I'm starving for some local music. Um, You can send it to Orlando Presents with a Z, the number one, at gmail.com. So send me your music, y'all, and I most definitely will play it as long as there's no vulgarity and no um, putting down of anybody or pumping up, talking about money and things of that nature. I I don't want to hear that. Let's hear something that's going to uplift us, all right? Now, once again, let's get back into the music. Hedges and Highways. Peace. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who you think that we is? Yeah, boy, to keep Jesus all to ourselves. All that stuff he did, they gon' bring us through it so we can help someone else. I know some of us have been locked up, and then some of y'all done been fed time, and then got saved, and then all of a sudden you acting like you all dead now. Where some of y'all done been prostitutes, and then some of y'all done been stripped. When they come to church, you don't need a speaker, just keep away from your mister. I know some of y'all done been dope boys, and then some of y'all done been cracked out. You change now, and ain't even hit. Them streets are having no track at What really going on? Tell me what wrong with the church Screaming, hey heaven, I'm home But we ain't even went to work 
no evangelizing, testifying on what God brought you through. Go hit the hedges and the highway, homie, because they need them too. Prostitute and that dope boy Put him on to that sacrifice That constitutes my hope boy One that got to the father, father If it ain't about him, my father, father. We in the hedges and highways One charted water, been charted See salvation through Christ To the Jew and Gentile light But we gotta go out and get them Give them the gift of life That's Jesus, the way, the truth Then why we speaking no truth The great commission is greater than What you do in the booth, truth What you do in the church When I say church, I'm talking about folk walls And at the end of your it ain't a good show if you don't get your applause Real talk, this rap game, the way we see it though It's just a hook, one tight first and one tight hook I had a comma crook in that sacred book right Yes, 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 Hedges and Highways, those guys are nice. I'm going to try to work on getting them on the show, man, definitely. Uh, Do not miss the show tomorrow. Tomorrow is an exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. We're dropping the brand new single by my man TB2, Fall Into You. Oh, oh, oh. y'all are in for a treat. I'm telling you in for a treat. And you're in for a treat today all as well. Hopefully... Hopefully everything goes right, that I'm able to speak with Mercy Creek. Mercy Creek uh, is a band that's here in town. They're a couple, husband and wife team, so they've been together for a long time. So I'm excited to be able to talk to them about the ins and outs, about recording in the music industry, and just being able to uh, be together as a husband and wife, and what types of, um, do they have different types of disagreements than other couples do when it comes down to, you know, being married and the music and things of that nature, and they see each other all the time. Do they ever have a time to get away from each other? It's like, oh, play your drums in the other room. Leave me alone. <laughs> so we're going to check We're gonna check them out a little bit later on. Hopefully they have the time to be able to call in at the 10 o'clock hour. Um, they're actually in Indiana right now recording, I believe it's their 17th album or something like that. That's, I mean, that's crazy. Crazy. We're crazy over here. No, but but yeah, um, we're going to check out a local guy here. He's not local, local. He's from the Essex area, but he is from Virginia. So definitely we're going to check him out right now. This is Darrell J. Rock Golden, and the name of the song is called... I represent, yes, 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 this joint is a banger, y'all. Man, listen up. Let's go. The Northern Neck Radio Show, The Post. Put your finger on The Post, man. Let me know what it is. JK. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo. Uh-huh. Hey, everybody. Uh-huh. Yeah, turn up. Turn, yo, up. turn up. It'll beat, beat. Catch me going in. And then mo peak, peak. Used to be on T. I pimping. You don't know me. Now my heart is on them letters. We in G-O-D. Yup. God tell me. Better suit up. From the ruler to the tutor. Let them use your lace. Your boots up. Been get them Nike shoes up. Been ain't no time for swag. You must attack. What you gonna do, bruh? Huh? I see you at that fence. But what side you gonna choose up? Yeah. Holding on to Christ and you will never be a loser. Yeah. Only time that you slip is when your grip is on the loose. Up, true stuff, never go lie, cross my heart and hope to die, and for God, I go hard, let like Medusa me, mugging on me, mugging on me, no shades on, no shades on, eyeball, eyeball, shades on, so believe in grace, 
Listen, I'm gonna need you to put your faith on. Don't so believe your faith in your head, play and get your praise on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hands up, hands up. Pride low, pride low. homie, man up. Man I represent up. without him, there's nothing to stand for. Yeah. And if you ain't standing for him, then what you stand for? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I represent what? I represent what? I represent what? Ay, ay, let go, let go, ay, let go. Hands up, hands up. Pride low, pride low. Man up, man I represent up. without him, there's nothing to stand for. And if you ain't standing for him, then what you stand for? Okay, you know me, representing that only I'm kicking them jaw droppers and spitting that holy moly He told me do it in excellence, ain't no half stepping it Gotta give it all, even putting my last breath in it Breeze, here we go, pride is low, there's no ego Steady dish in the rock, cause this world is foul some free throws Me and my amigo, my brother in Christ I know you sitting back thinking like them brothers is nice With this gift God's giving me Bars always running through my mind, it's truly jogging my memory. You put me in the booth with this truth, it's bound to be chemistry. I know it's crunch time, front line, no infantry. We never shaking a rattle, we selling Satan skedaddle. He say that he want the beef, well I guess I'm slaying the cattle. Get on my level, my king's benevolent, heaven sent. Stand up, hands up, represent. Huh? Yeah, I represent what? I represent what? I represent what? Ay.
stuff in a prison, prison, and I don't know my way out. Am I slowly losing my vision, vision, cause I don't know my way out. And I feel like I'm trapped in a prison, prison, and I don't know my way out. Am I slowly losing my vision, vision, cause I don't know my way out. Yes, man, 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 man. That was Jordan Rivers, um, the monster or monster. You can uh, check him out on SoundCloud, man. Check him out on SoundCloud.com. Also, he has a fan page on Facebook. Uh, once again, that was Jordan Rivers, uh, monster. Now, just want to give a shout out to a couple of countries out there. If you <clears throat> you're listening, because I see my um, you know my my numbers here, and I have a couple a couple of different countries out there that are listening to to my shows and to the other shows that we have on the network so hey i support thank y'all very much thank you thank you thank you um philippines brazil germany united kingdom japan canada netherlands peru and lithuania i mean wow Thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. And then the places here at home, um, Kingsport, Tennessee, Ashburn, thank you, uh, Mount View, Mountain View, Richmond, uh, Newport News, Kilmarnock, Kilmarnock, thank you for the love, y'all. Uh, Oakland, California, California love. Oh, okay. Hey, it just took me back for a minute there, y'all. I'm I'm fine now. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Baltimore, Maryland, and um Charlotte, North Carolina. So thank y'all very much. Shout out to y'all. And I'm pretty sure there's other places out there that are listening as well. So just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, very much. Um yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna be like I said, I really wasn't sure if Mercy Creek was gonna be able to call in or not because they are in the studio, they're at work, they're hard at work, so I definitely understand, but I will get them on the show one day. I vow. But uh, <laughs> but we will get them on the show one day. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna call my buddy here. I'm gonna see if uh what my buddy is doing and uh See what they doing up there at the book nook. Do y'all know about the book nook? I don't think y'all know about the book nook. So I'm going to call the book nook, and I believe the doors are just opening up. This is ran by my man Jim Lane. So I'm going to – I love doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May not be open yet. Yeah, it may not be open yet. Hello. You have reached the Book Nook in Kilmarnock, Virginia. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 3. Oh. I hope you. Well, the Book Nook is running late bit behind this morning but that's okay that's okay i give jim a I give jim a pass because jim man he's been running the book nook for a long long time here in kilmarnock virginia and if you haven't already caught on by the name of it it's a bookstore here in town and it's been here for a long time jim hasn't been the sole owner of it um but hey it's been handed down and uh, different owners bought it, things of that nature. But uh, Jim's been doing a great job up there at the Book Nook. So if you're ever here in Kilmarnock, if you're here, ever here in the area, you need to visit um, the Book Nook and just, hey, walk in there and say, hey, what's up, Jim? I heard about the Book Nook on 
on uh, the post of the Northern Neck radio show in Orlando was really talking good things about you. So definitely hit him up, hit him up, y'all, because there's, like I said, there's a lot of great things there for y'all to check out. And um, if he doesn't have it, whatever book he doesn't have, he, he actually orders it for you. So what other books do well? Some of them do, but hey, you get a personal touch when it happens with Jim. So definitely, man, I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy for everything that's going on out there at the book nook. So y'all support that. Hey, shout out to my man Picasso Ramirez. How you doing, brother? Man, that's a brother out there that's really doing some major, major things, major work out there. You know, so uh, check out Beyond the Walls Volume 2, I believe. So y'all check that out. Go support them um, from here. So, uh, oh, hold on for a second. We got a call. We got a call. All right. Thank you for calling in. This is the Post of the Northern Neck Radio Show. Who do we have on the line? This is Jim from Mercy Creek. How are you, Rhonda? Hey. Hey. <laughs> on, What's buddy? up, Jim? I'm good. I'm good, man. I was just telling the folks that um, you and your wife may be busy in the studio, so you may call, you may not call, but I will implement a plan to get them on the air one day. <laughs> there you go. Well, we are here. We're at, we actually are out in Indiana right now recording, and uh, yeah. it's a little rainy out here, but it, it's, uh, it's going real good. Okay, fantastic. It's raining here at home, too, so, you know, we're uh, not having all the sunshine while y'all are drenched in the rain. No worries. That's right. Okay. <laughs> but we do we do miss y'all. We do miss y'all. Um, I know you're in a, you know, short crunch and everything, so I just had a couple of questions. Um, now, sure. is this like, is this like your 17th album or something like that? No, no, this is our seventh. Seventh. Okay, so, I knew the number seven, seven yeah, was ranked will, there for a reason. Yeah, yeah. So we've done. This will be our seventh album, and um, we are out here working with a producer named Paul Mayhern. And uh, Paul has actually produced uh, uh, the first six albums, and this will be the seventh album he's produced for us. Okay. So, uh, now, is there a reason why? Company. I'm sorry. Go ahead. The reason why we we work with him? Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, um, we have used other studios and some other, re- you know, folks to record with, and uh, uh, Paul always uh, delivers a great product with, with what we do, and we're very comfortable working with him. And, uh, you know, we've been recording with him since, like, 1999, so we have a really good relationship with him. Um, you know, he is a producer, and he's also a friend, so it's uh, just kind of the best of both worlds. And uh no. Anyway, he uh, he he does. He's been doing albums and and making recordings since uh, since he was a little kid. And uh, this is what you know, producing and making records for people is what he does. So uh, we're in good hands with him, and uh, always have really good results. And this this album is sounding unbelievable. We're really excited about it. Um, wow. Cheryl is putting down vocals at this point, and uh, we'll be coming back out to Indiana, um, you know, in the next month or so to. To just get the final, uh, you know, continue with working on the vocals and getting them uh, all done, and then uh, then we'll get it mixed and hopefully have have the album out by the uh, the end of the summer or mid summer, something like that. Okay. Now, what's the name of the album? We don't have a name yet. So, you got any suggestions? You let us know. <laughs> uh, okay. We, we usually we usually name albums uh, or call albums. Uh, Try to relate to something in the lyrics of, of one of the songs, or maybe a song title. Um, we actually have uh, an artwork. Uh, a friend of ours, uh, an artist, a painter named Mark Hopkins, down in um, uh, Hampton Roads, Newport News. He has uh, he has kind of like a Picasso type style, so he's done a, a painting that will be our front cover. And mm. uh, so we got the cover, but we don't have a name yet. But uh, that that will always come. And we always like to wait until we hear the mixes. Uh, after everything is completed, and then kind of get a better idea of maybe what what lyric or what song title might might stand out and make a good theme. Okay. Now, is that something? Do you do you feel that that's something not normal or of the norm of other groups, or is that most groups do it that way? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we kind of always uh, do it that way because uh, you know we like that spontaneity of. Uh, 
you know, you never know how a recording is going to turn out, and uh, you know, maybe a song that you thought was going to be the, the strongest song on the album may may not be. And uh, as you get your mixes back and kind of absorb the whole, you know, all the songs, um, maybe something stands out a little bit uh, more than than the other songs or, or than what you thought was going to how it was going to be. So <clears throat> I think that's why we do it that way. And uh, okay. you know, we we love to uh, wait to the last minute to decide on anything. It's just sort of our okay. personality. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, as you be, you being a husband and wife team, have you felt that that put more of a um, togetherness within the band, or at times has that really tested your strength of being married together? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's made us uh made us a way stronger team and uh we've we've always been a great uh just sort of you know, soulmates and uh really for us getting getting married was uh just sort of a continuation of that. You know, it was we, we never had any doubt that we were gonna, you know, uh be be in our relationship for the long haul and uh, uh getting married has just been sort of a uh you know, icing on the cake with that. But it no it, it really hasn't impacted uh the way we travel, the way we interface with each other. Um, it's just really, you know, kind of been business and life as usual uh, uh, after get, getting married, but we're really happy that we did it, and uh, you know, it does give it a uh, kind of a uh, an air of uh, finality, which is awesome. You know. Awesome, awesome. Now, I may have the wrong group in mind, but um, the Red Stripes, were they a husband and wife married team? She was on um, guitar, he was on drums as well? Yeah, well, that, actually, they were they were called the White Stripes. Like White the, uh, Stripes, that's uh, right. White, that's right. And uh, the uh, wife uh, played drums, and uh, her husband played guitar and sang. Okay. And, uh, okay. yeah, they were, uh, they were uh, you know, kind of a, uh, and still are a very famous uh, and, and artistic and really interesting uh, duo. So they, uh, you know, I guess one of the things that makes us unique is that um, we are a two-piece and we perform as as, as a two-piece, and uh, that keeps things, you know, uh, lean and mean and um, allows us to travel whenever we need to. And um, uh, I think it just makes everything way way more uh, defined and clear-cut. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the white stripes you're you're thinking of. Yeah, white yeah, stripes. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I, oh, <laughs> exactly. Now, um, what are you and your wife? Are you actually from the Kilmarnock area? And if not, what made you all settle here? Um, my father's family uh, was from Weems, and so he was the the youngest of eleven brothers and sisters. Uh, and he grew up in Weems during the 30s and 40s and all that. And uh, unfortunately, his all of his family uh, is deceased at this point, and, uh, as well as my dad. He passed away uh, five years ago. But that's how we have our con- uh, our you know roots and connection to the Northern Neck uh, was was through my father's side of the family. Okay, excellent, excellent. And the yeah. wife always loved the area, huh? Yeah, and um, Cheryl was actually from and grew up in Northern Virginia in Burke, and uh, her parents uh, still live in Burke, so we we go to Northern Virginia to see them, and uh, uh, when we can get away with it, we have them come to the Northern Neck to see us because it's way prettier in the Northern Neck. But we, we really we really love the Northern Neck, and, and the people um, in the area are so so nice and, and so kind, and uh, the area is beautiful and. Uh, you know, it's just there's great facilities, the YMCA, and, and it's just it's a wonderful area. So we feel really uh, blessed to to be able to live in, in an area that's so so pretty and where everybody's so nice. And it's also pretty centrally located, so we can go to Richland or or Nagshead, North Carolina, or you know up into Maryland. Uh, we can reach a lot of places to to play and work um, within maybe two to, to four hours. So it's it's a nice central location for what we do as well. Okay. Now, uh, how many different places have y'all actually performed at um, as a band together, and have you ever had to do a performance solo? Uh, no, we have never done anything solo. Um, uh, as in, um, you know, we always, uh, if we can't play and present what we do, we we don't take the opportunity. Uh, and as far as the number of places we played, it's been thousands. I mean. You know, we play a thousand yeah, places, and, 
and been road dogging for a long time. Uh, but you know, the, the thing about um, maybe uh, playing solo or whatever is that it's it's not what we do all the time. And um, you know, we've been working on a particular sound and a, a particular thing for you know a decade and a half or, or you know 17 years or so. And so, um, usually when when someone wants us to do something solo, it's because uh, of time constrictions. You know, they want to get you know, and act on and off stage really fast or that kind of thing. And uh, we just have always uh, felt like we are, are cheating ourselves if we don't present what we work on all the time, you know. And uh, right. so we just sort of stick to that rule of, like, well, this is what we do. And, uh, you know, we want to continue uh, presenting uh, what we work on uh, and, and not change it up just, uh, you know, because they, uh, the logistics of a particular gig, uh, may, it may be easier for that gig, you know, so. We like to present what we what we work on. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now I do have a song here, but I just want to ask you first: Is it okay that I play it? Is the name of the song is called Shadow Dance? Sure, sure. Okay. That was on our first now, album, and uh, and actually, uh, Mayhern he, he produced that album and produced that song, and uh, he uh, he actually uh, occasionally plays some instruments on our records, and he uh, he played bass on that particular song. So it's got a really funky, nice bass line to it. And uh, Paul is a uh, accomplished musician as well as a really great producer. So uh, sometimes he he uh, pulls out an instrument and, and lays down a track on the album uh, as well as producing. So so Paul uh, is playing bass on that song. Um, a guy named Des Rudenberg is uh, from out of Indiana, plays electric guitar, and uh, and I play drums. And Cheryl's Cheryl's playing uh, the acoustic guitar and doing all the vocals. Oh, okay. Now, explain to folks who maybe don't know the type of music Mercy Creek plays, what kind of band um, is Mercy Creek? Well, we describe ourselves as aggressive folk rock. And what we mean by that is that we uh, we have a folky side to us, uh, as in, in the lyrics are important. Um, you know, it's acoustic guitar based. But we have drums and, you know, we... Uh, we like to think of it uh, as as folk, uh, you know, oriented or, or having, having tinges of folk, but we we want to make you move in your seat, and uh, you know, it's it's not a sleepy kind of music. It's it's certainly um, uh, you know that's the aggressive side, and also um, we don't really define ourselves. If we are writing a song and it feels like it needs to be reggae-ish or maybe world beat or you know, rock or, or, you know, all rock. I mean, we, we let our music um, go the direction that it uh, naturally wants to go. So we, we don't define ourselves as, I think, you know, more traditional uh, folk groups. It's it's kind of a specific sound. And uh, we, you know, like that sound, but we, you know, we just kind of let the music go the, the direction it naturally wants to go. So sometimes that ends up being you know, kind of, kind of crazy, and and maybe really electric, or maybe uh, really world beat, or something, uh, as mm-hmm. opposed to, you know, just more traditional folk like you know Peter Paul and Mary type things. Okay. Now this is the last question. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go ahead and go and get back to business. Um, All right. As musicians, do you put music together um, that's pleasing to you, or do you try to please your audience? Uh, the first, we we always write uh, for ourselves, uh, and you know the way we with music that we are are, are happy with, and that you know we definitely uh, try to make uh, music that we like and that that we want to present. Um, and we really never try to write a song that's hey, you know, this is sort of working with you know uh, this vibe right now with people. Uh, you know, we never really write like that at all. We we always just come up with our ideas and we, we write all our music uh, as we travel uh, to our shows. Um, we have little tape recorders and, you know, song notebooks. And uh, so we, we've written all of our songs as we've been traveling over the years. And uh, that's sort of the formula. Instead of listening to the radio or listening to CDs, we uh, we just write music as we travel. And uh, it's a good, you know, way to spend that time and make that time productive um, and to be creative in the car. And you got to drive or six, eight hours to do, you know, your job. And uh, it, it just makes that time, uh, you know, worthwhile and, uh, and, and, and makes it more productive. So, uh, but right. yeah, we, we always just, uh, 
when we have an idea, we always have our tape recorders and, and uh, our notebooks always with us. And if, if one of us has an idea, we even if we don't have time to really do anything with it right then, we always um, catalog it and document it and then uh, always have it to go back to. And we don't, we don't like to lose ideas, so we always capture everything. And maybe we won't use it, but we, uh, uh, we want to make sure that we have it in case we want to go back to it and uh, – or we forget it. You know, sometimes you come up with something good, and then you get distracted, and you forget forget what you came up with. Right, uh, right. Okay. And, and Cheryl, Cheryl, sends, Cheryl sends her love. She is actually uh, <laughs> in studio sing, singing right now. So uh, she sends her love, and uh, uh, we will be back to the Northern Neck uh, here in the next couple of days, and hopefully we will see you. All right. All righty. Yes, sir, you will. Yes, sir, you will. Hopefully, uh, once you get the album done, you can drop me a single and y'all can come on back on the show. We'd love to, and we will certainly do that. All right. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mercy Creek. Woo! Thank you, Orlando. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you Have too. a good time. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, 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 that was Mercy Creek on the line. I'm so excited, man. Northern Neck is so great. I'm telling you, you got a lot of great people here, so y'all need to come on down and visit us one day, especially some of you artists out there. Come on down and see what we have to offer, you know. Um, I'm going to play the song called Shadow Dance, like he was explaining. Um, And uh, once again, this is by Mercy Creek. I hope y'all like it. Let's go.
All right, all right, all right. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. That was Mercy Creek. That was a live version of Mercy Creek's song, Shadow Dance. Man, I cannot wait to get them back in the studio and get a... Get a single from them from the album that they were working on right now. So definitely, definitely. Uh, what I want to do is I want to end with this song here. I really like this song. This song really gets me going, really gets me pumped. It's by Mike Jeezy. And uh, Mike Jeezy is going to be an artist. Um, another interview on Friday. So make sure you tune in on Friday on Mental Impact Radio at 10 a.m. on Friday. And uh, check out Mike Jeezy. And let's uh, sit down and chop it up with him. Let's see what's going on within this young man's life, all right? Once again, this is Mike Jeezy. Feel that. And uh, I'm signing off, y'all. It's been a great show. It's been a great day. I got to call a couple of different people. I got to sit down and speak with Mercy Creek. Man, I can go to sleep now. Go back to sleep. Nah, I got to go to work. But uh, maybe y'all will see me at the YMCA. Maybe you see me on the road. All right, then. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be uh Hey, be be grateful out there, man. Be happy. Things can be a whole lot worse than what it is right now. Just believe that. So, all right, this has been the Pulse of the Northern Neck Radio Show. I'm your host, Orlando. And let's go, man. Let's get into some feel that. Let's get pumped. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let them know one time. Yeah, I mean, you can find me well, spitting my God-given lyrical content. Woo! Never mind the fine friend, I'ma spit it to my throat bleed. Yeah. Praying hard both knees. Come on. Wondering how I get around all of the ups and downs when I frown, but I stay strong. Yeah. Because he loves his own. I spit fire from the dome to the throne, let it simmer like a neck bone. Yeah. Hey, just get gone. Woo! Holy Spirit got me feel to the max. You don't wanna feel that clap back. Clap. Tic-tac when I rap so fresh with the seat laid back with the boss, no Maybach. No Maybach. I can't back. help it when I feel it on the inside. Yeah. He got my heart wrapped up like a bow tie. Yeah. No lie, praise I'm so high. If you got a problem with it, your mother welcome to leave, gone by, my guy stay fly, I try to tell him that I give him high praise, no face, and you can tell all my haters they can get back, yeah. I'm in the zone like a fire in my bones, you can hear it in my tone, gone, tell me, do you feel that, hey, gone, tell me, do you feel that, do you feel that, tell me, do you feel that, hey, gone, tell me, do you feel that, do you feel that, do you feel that, hey, gone, tell me, do you feel that, do you feel that, tell me, do you feel that, hey, gone, tell me, do you feel that, do you feel that, do you feel that, Holy Spirit coming clean on the scene with a flow so mean. Don't tell me, do you feel that? Gotta give a praise up, no bluff, going hard for the team. Don't tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Hey! Yeah. Now I got your blood pumping, heart jumping, make your body feel something. Uh, when God talks, ain't no never interruptions. Coming at your heart when the bass be bumping. Yeah. My G, are you telling me that I can give it all to God and to provide all of my needs? Yeah. Indeed, the energy I need to give it up to God is not as hard as it seems. Well, if that's the case, then I'ma seek the face of the one who's got time for grace. No chase and false God, no time to waste. Holy Spirit, what you come my way? Come Cause on. I say that you gotta give it all to the man. Nine and I won't do. won't do. And if you know that's true, then don't be blind to the proof. Go Go ahead, make it do what it do, man, I'm trying to tell you that The energy that I feel in me, repping the trinity Is gonna make the enemy wanna get back I'm in the zone like a fire in my bones When you hear it in my song, don't tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Do you feel that? So mean. Don't tell me, do you feel that? Gotta give a praise up, no bluff, going hard for the team. Don't tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Tell me, do you feel that? Hey, don't tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Hey. So, so mean. Panera Bread is now delivering in Richmond. That means broccoli cheddar soup, roasted turkey and avocado BLT, and all your other favorites are delivered right to your office or door or porch or 
backyard or front yard or dorm or wherever for lunch, dinner, and everywhere in between. Order today at PaneraBread.com or download the app. Participating locations only. Panera. Food as it should be.